Hey there, good morning. Today is February 8th, 2021. It's 11 a.m. And thank you for joining me for my Cadence at Gateway Real Estate Roundup. Brought to you by myself and Alan Brown. Both of us are realtors. 18 years of experience each. Full-time experienced, licensed with HomeSmart, and we're both Cadence at Gateway residents. So we want to be a resource to anybody in the community thinking about buying or selling. Our main website, www.cadenceatgateway.info. Check it out sometime if you get a chance. We've got links to the HOA site on there. A little bit of builder information. I've got to definitely add to that. Got a few posts on Legacy Sports Park and Phoenix Ma- Gesa, uh, Gesa, Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport, as well as local communities. You can see all homes for sale. You can see all homes sold. A couple videos and a little bit about the community. As well, you can see that we offer a very nice rebate program to anybody thinking about buying a new build in the community. So let's jump right into the MLS. And this chart, this chart, this map right here, shows all homes currently listed for sale in the MLS in Cadence. There are no homes listed for resale, and there are no builders that have listed their homes for sale in the MLS. But that does not mean homes aren't available. Although, Lennar has been doing lot releases in the form of a lottery, they have slowed their lottery and number of homes down to almost nothing. So I think that they might've gotten a little ahead of themselves with their sales or the lumber shortages kicking in or the, or the labor shortages kicking in, but they've had to slow down their lot releases dramatically. With that said, Toll Brothers still has lots that they're releasing. You have to get on their VIP list. And they have been reducing, reducing, uh, increasing their prices almost like clockwork every five homes that they sell or every new time that there's homes available. I have people in contract right now whose home hasn't even begun construction and the prices from Toll Brothers have gone up over $50,000. Excuse me. And then there's Marikay. Marike, also known as TriPoint, they they sold, they merged <coughs> with TriPoint Homes. Those are some beautiful homes in there. You must get pre-qualified with their lender. Once you get pre-qualified with their lender, <coughs> excuse me, they'll set up an appointment for you, and you can go and view their models. They will not be opening to the public, so that's the way you need to do that. So, with that said, before I jump into anything else. Please keep myself or Alan Brown in mind before you visit any of the sales centers. If you do register with Toll Brothers, Lennar, or TriPoint Homes, make sure you make a note that you'll be represented by myself or Alan Brown in your purchase. And we will not only represent you with our experience in real estate, we will also credit you up to 50% of the commission that the builder pays. So just keep that in mind, okay? Now I'm going to jump over here. And these are homes. In the upper left-hand corner, you'll see these are homes that have closed in the last two weeks. I actually went back to January 15th. And you'll see these are just two homes that were built by Newport towards the entrance of the community. And one sold for $309 which was a 1800 square footer. And this one sold for 349, which was also an 1800 square footer. So there is some equity up there at the front. When those homes have a sale like this of 1800 square feet for 349.9, that helps everybody's values up front, especially in the Newport area. And then these are all homes that are under contract and pending. There are basically two resale homes here. This is a David Weekly and this is a Pulte home. The sizes, 36 and 3,700 square feet. 
The uh, David Weekly one had an asking price of $620,000. I went through the home. It was a very nice home. Um, had concrete floors, which not everybody would love on the first floor. But aside from that, the home was nice, great location in the community. And I knew they had offers as I was going through on the open house. That's how crazy the market is right now. And the other home, you know, this started a sale price at like six something. They reduced the price as soon as they got below $600,000, they got offers as well. Then the rest of these homes are all of the Newport homes. Newport homes put most of their homes in the MLS. These will all be closing escrow in the next couple of months. Let's look at the market for our zip code. You might almost call it the golden zip code, 85212. I'm going to show you right here. This was the median list price going back three years. You can see the median list price for our zip code was $350,000. It has now skyrocketed to $658,000. Now, <clears throat> that is a little bit skewed because there are some large homes that are being put on the market in Eastmark. So Eastmark has homes that are actually selling as high as $900,000. And when the builder puts their models and stuff into the MLS, that does pull that number up a little bit. Number I really like to look at though is price per square foot. So the average price per square foot in our entire zip code right now is up around $224 a square foot. That means if you have a 2,000 square foot home, you are closing in on $250,000. Now, that is not across the board. There are some smaller homes. If they are highly upgraded, they may sell for more than that. And if you have a larger home that's not as upgraded, it would sell for less than that. So just keep that in mind, but you can see the trend continues upward, okay? Now, last, next, last, next. Let's look at inventory. Let's look at inventory. <clears throat> and this is just unbelievable. I would say back here, I said it wasn't going to get much lower. I think I said right here, it wasn't going to get much lower. And the trend continues. Let's talk about that trend for a minute. <clears throat> Somebody said there are 23 buyers for every home for sale right now in the market. And I'm not sure if that is exactly true, but I can tell you <clears throat> there are many homes that are being put on the market that are getting 20 and 30 and 40 offers. They are getting 65 showing requests in the first day. Okay. There are homes that are selling for $40,000, $60,000, $80,000 over asking price. There are buyers that are letting the seller stay in the home for three months for free. There are buyers who are waiving the appraisal contingency and they are waiving the inspection periods. That's the market we're in right now. I do not know how long this market's going to last, but if you are thinking of selling there, it may get better. I mean, it may even get crazier, but there has never been a time like this in the history of real estate in Arizona. Um, 2004, five and six, you know what? People were buying homes like crazy, but they didn't even have a job. I mean, they could just put down any income they want. Most homes, most loans were stated income. This is different. These are real buyers. They're moving here from out of state. They're moving here. They're upgrading. They're downgrading. Uh, they're doing everything, but they are buying our homes in Arizona. So if you're thinking of selling, please, even if you're just thinking about it, please keep myself and Alan Brown um, in consideration. Here's a phone number right here, 480-447-5900. Again, 480-447-5900. Uh, this is a good time to talk about this. I've uh, been doing some socializing with some of the neighbors. And just the other day, I was talking about the real estate market and they asked me, they said, hey, Dave, let's just say we found a buyer for our home. Let's say we parked ourselves out in front of the sales center. And we said, hey, you don't want to wait for this such and such a model. We've got one. We'll sell you. And he, he then asked me what we would, how I could help him and what it would cost. And I told him I would represent him in the sale, meaning we would drop all the paperwork, contracts, everything, ensure that he's fully protected. 
and we would do it for 1% of the sale price. So there's an option for you. If you want to sell your home, but you still want a realtor involved, we can represent you and help you um, for 1% of the sales price. As well, we are working actively, aggressively on creating a plan where we may help you sell your home at no cost to you. So there's going to be a few little details, so it's all going to defend, depend upon your situation, but it is possible for us to represent you in the sale of your property at no cost to you, no payment to us. So there's things we can do to help you with that. And you know what? The market's crazy. Lots of you are going to be moving and stuff like that. So <clears throat> lastly, just remember, if you are thinking about a new build, allow myself and Alan Brown to represent you in the purchase. We will credit you 50%. Even if you're thinking about a resale home, allow Alan and I to represent you. Um, I coined this new phrase last week. You pretty much get two agents for the price of none. Let me say that one more time. You get two agents. We have 18 years of experience, each full-time experience for the price of none. It doesn't cost you anything when we represent you in the purchase of a home. The seller pays the commission. And if you were to buy a new build, the seller pays a certain commission and we're willing to credit you half of that back. And if you do a resale, you don't pay anyways. You'll get two of us working for you. So that's about it. Thank you. Uh, like I said, today is Jan uh, February 8th, 2021. It's now 11.13 a.m. I'm Dave Dion, and I work with Alan Brown. We're both full-time realtors living in the community. Want to help you guys any way we can. Take care and have a great day.